Got our 21st day horde now. Got a game stage of 104 with level 64. This is single player with warrior mode. And this time I've got six blade traps to um, help deal with the zombies. And cue the music. Turn on the blade traps. Oh, I'm also going to turn on the FPS counter. Just so we see what we get. Oh, sounds like some traps are doing some nice work here. Oh yes, lovely, look at that. Swiss zombie anyway. Jesus Christ, look at them. Come on guys, come over here where the traps are. Don't be shy. Oh no, one stopped already. No! Wow, that blade trap didn't last very long at all. Come, let's stop eating that up. Don't be shy. Oh, I started my coals in the building already. I think I want to go the other way for some reason. Kind of weird. There we go, jumping. Lovely job. For some reason they want to run around the building. Which is fine by me. Oh, very nice. Look at that. Yeah, I'm not sure why they decide they've got to run around the building rather than sort of head towards the player. But Chopping up a fair few of them. Big legs right there. So these ones have not stopped spinning. Oh, there's one totally disappeared now. So they will see uh, that one that stopped working, they just demolished now. Be interesting to see why it went out so quick. Okay, so now we're. Uh, looks like. Oh, no, here we go. Some more coming. So we lost a few of the blocks down there. And whether that's the end of the main bit, I'm mean, just gonna. Oh no, here we go. I've got some. Oh dear, that one doesn't look very well, look at that. Mm. 
See, the FPS is climbing quite a lot now. Now we haven't got quite so many zombies about. Which is a shame, there's got to be a way of making them uh, cheaper. So that looks like that was the uh, the main attraction gone. That was so, as I say, I had my Z6 to 16. Let's just risk having a quick look at the building. So they've knocked a the block out of there. I want to see what uh, happens with that other uh, blade trap. No reason why it should have been broken then. They didn't get in enough to um, to damage the uh, electrics. This is now three walls thick. We've got a little spider wants to play. There he goes. Okay, guys. Well, um, I'll stop that now. And uh, yeah, that was it. Um, got a little problem here with the um, the solar panel. Um, as you can see, I've got the solar panel uh, connected to the battery bank. The battery bank is then connected to a switch, then a relay. It's then connected to the fence posts and a shotgun turret. Now the problem is that, um, as you can see, the um, battery uh, solar cell is producing 22 watts from his one uh, solar cell in there. The battery bank should be producing 300 watts, but it's actually producing no watts, even though it's turned on. So what's the end result is that there's not enough power to run these these electric fence posts. So this one here is not working. Now if I turn or disconnect the um, the uh, solar panel, which I think we how do we do that? We do that. Right, so now let's just check the battery. Now he's actually producing 47 watts. Okay, and if we look at the solar panel again, that will be producing no watts, but it's got the potential for 22. And now we should find that this um, fence post works as it does. Now, if I connect the solar panel again, to the battery bank uh, to charge it up. There we go. Um, let me have a look again. And as you can see, it's producing no watts again. So what's happening is that the um, solar panel is actually cancelling out the battery bank. And the solar panel is trying to act um, as the soul. Uh, power provider and of course if we go around to this uh, fence post here this perhaps will be the last on the chain I suppose you can see it doesn't work okay there you go okay guys um, I've noticed a problem here with the garage doors if we look through them this way um, you can't see anything the other side apart from in the holes which is fair enough but if we look through them this way, they're actually transparent to some extent. If I move back, you look, you can actually see that the outlines of the trees and so on that are behind them are actually shown through them. Okay, there you go.
so I've got the junk poets wandering about a bit like the backpack guy. Um, I thought they were actually disappearing, but the last time I tested, they went somewhere else. So, oh, damn it. Okay, let's just load that now. So I'm going to put in two loads of junk poets, as you can see. Uh, let's just get out of that view so we can see what they are. Now, what I'm going to do. This is a working stiff at 700, 700 on Mother's Day. So what I'm now going to do is CP away to zero, zero. And um, just poke about here for a couple of minutes. Or seconds really, you know. Um, all I need to do is just, I think it's because I've changed something to all that stuff to do it so I can pick up some work for temperature or something like that. Um, then we're going to go back to 700, 700. And see if the junk poets are still there. See they show up on the map. So maybe we can push it to there. Yeah. Right, and up we walk. Now we know they were right by the working sticky sign. No junk poets. Disappeared. Okay, so what I'm going to do is have a quick look at the map. Right. Right, let's try LE then and see where they may be. I'm saying the junk poets are now somewhere else, yeah, 6, 9, 7, 7, 7, 18 to 6, 9, 3, 2, 7, that's 5, so they've actually gone underground, I think, quite a way underground, so there you go, okay guys, I'm trying to follow me map, me backpack, and as you can see, that it's actually moving up the map, so, I'm going to fly after it and see if it's gone. That's, uh, yeah. If we check the map. Yep, still moving. Let's teleport closer to it. No idea what it's decided it wants to go, but still recording, guys. So that's going faster than I can run. Now is oh, now was it gone? Right, so we saw it flying up the map there. Now where's it gone? It's showing a southwest. Um, oh, so it's gone that way. So now it's decided to, uh, although it says it's there on the map, we go southwest. Looks like any bigger now. Yeah. Um, but it's actually gone off the map. 
Okay, so there you go. There you go. So I've found a bit of an issue here with uh, with the forge. As you notice, it's um, it's using a lot of FPS when we're opening it up. Um, back to full screen mode because that's where it was. So as you can see, it's we're hovering around the 40, 25. But when I open the forge, the FPS tanks. And I can make it even worse by putting the anvil in the forge. And the FPS really does tank then. Four, four bit FPS. So we certainly got an issue there somewhere with the forge. Now I've tried this on Navis game um, because this is my long term test. And it still drops the FPS quite markedly. So it is an issue um, even on a fresh game. Okay, there you go. Okay, guys, so as you can see in F5, if you look at my back leg, back left leg, it's twitching. Now, that's because I'm crouched. If I um, come out of it, it doesn't look like I'm twitching at all. As soon as I go back, it looks like my uh, muscles are spasming. And there's obviously something very wrong with the, the model. But there you go. If you break again, I'll put that on it. So if you go, try and go slowly past me. So as you can see, Dolly's legs aren't moving at all. Uh, there's no animation whatsoever for the um, client or for the host watching the client. Okay, that'll do, thank you. Oh, I can talk.